Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at my HK P30 Variant 3. The V3 means that it's a double action, single action handgun. HK has many different variants. Double action, single action, very common. But this one's chambered in 40 Smith & Wesson. Now I know there are a lot of 40 fans out there. I'm still of the belief that it is a perfect in between the 124 grain 9 millimeter and the 230 grain 45 ACP. These are 180 grain wad cutters, okay? That's just the flat tip. But it's a nice round. People call it snappy. I don't think it's too snappy. The P30 itself is a compact size handgun with a 3.85 inch barrel. It has nice ergonomics to the grip with interchangeable grip panels and back straps. A trigger guard magazine release that is ambidextrous. Slide stop that is ambidextrous. Front serrations, a rail, and three dot luminescent sights. This was very popular prior to the HK VP line. But let's go ahead and take a few shots here. All right. It does have a decocker on the back of the slide. Little button there, you push that button and it decocks the gun. I like the position of, the, of that. But the P30s were extremely popular, very expensive. This was selling for over or right around $800 until the VPs came out. And I thought that was a ripoff. <laughs> it, it was. The, the um, MSRP is or was, I'm not sure what it is now, but it was over a thousand dollars. So I actually traded for this. I've never bought an HK handgun because these are now selling at the local gun store for right around 550. So it was around 800, now around 550. You know, what does that tell you? I think HKs are overpriced. I do like them though. They're excellent handguns. They just cost a lot of money and especially uh, a while back, this the p2000 which i had as well i traded for that it's just uh, a little hang up that i have with hk and it just it bothers me a bit that they charged so much and now all of a sudden because the market dipped a little bit they dipped a lot like over 250 dollars for the exact same model that aside this is a nice handgun now many people say the 40 is snappy I just don't see it guys. I don't see the 40 as being that snappy. Now, you wanna see a snappy handgun, go check out one of those micro poly frame 380s. Those are snappy. The 40, in my opinion, is not that snappy, okay? I'll just say that. Now, I will grant you 13 round mags compared to the 15 round mags in nine millimeter, and I'm a fan of nine millimeter. I just think the 40 still has its place in the gun world. Many law enforcement, still use it although it's been shifting back and forth and whatever it's still a fine round and one of the greatest advantages is that when there are ammo shortages like right now the 40 is often still available because there are fewer people going after it so let me load it up we'll turn the camera around and you can let me know how snappy it actually is all right so let's check out the recoil but i do want to mention that it does have a loaded chamber indicator right there it is red the extractor sticks up a bit the unloaded weight is just under 28 ounces so let's go ahead and take a few shots here. there it is the P30, a decocker right there, nice position. Not a bad handgun. It's actually a very nice handgun. I've, I've owned it for a while. I already mentioned I traded for it. I had the P30 uh, SK subcompact model in 9mm, and I traded that one away. So this is the only 40 that I currently own, and it's the only HK that I currently own. Not saying that that won't change in the future. It probably will. But I did want to bring this out. I wanted to rant a little bit about HK and their prices. But I also wanted to show what this gun is capable of as well as feature 
40 Smith & Wesson because I think it's a fine round. It's not that snappy, at least in my hands, and I still enjoy it, and I still enjoy this HKP30 Variant 3. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.